two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Welcome to what's on tap podcast.com. We're back, ready to drink some beers. Are, and... you, sh- are you sure we're back? I don't know. Well, who, who can know? It's impossible to tell. Maybe, maybe. We're, we're, we're just a mere facsimile of ourselves that... We've been doing this so long, to. so we could we could actually reuse episodes, and our listeners would not remember. Based on our listenership, probably not. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, who, who would know? Like Bjorn, uh, friend of the show, he would know. He has actually listened to every single episode. It's called a super fan. That is a super. He's been on the show many times as well. That is. We, we need to we need we need to do another game beer soon. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely have to uh, and I will, I will get leave. off our collective asses and organize that shit. And I will once again defeat him and all of our friends. As well, you should. Yeah, because we'll throw out we'll <laughs> throw out another <laughs> lambic, and you'll be like, boom! I was like, did we didn't even get a chance to sample it yet? <laughs> I will live on that. I don't remember the episode number, but uh, the episode where I beat was it Bjorn? I defeated. It was Bjorn yeah. because it was the um, Boone uh, Ud Creek. It was a Boone Ud Creek, and. You had barely taken the glass from your mouth. Bjorn had barely got the glass to his mouth. And you said, Booty Creek. And we were like, that was like 0. 0.0 seconds. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, like, my, it's my greatest beer moment. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. So your next greatest beer moment will probably not be the next one. It, but we do have two beers you've dug up from your cellar. It's yet once again our archaeological uh-huh. series where I dig deep in my cellar. Did you appreciate that segue? Yeah, it was that was re- pretty smooth, wasn't it? it? Was really, I, I'm really, really happy smooth. with that segue. You're always so smooth. Thanks. So. This is to. the smoothest podcast I listen to. It is the. It's, it's basically the only podcast I listen to. <laughs> listen, I just want to hear your voice. Oh, I don't blame you. I, I do the same thing. I listen back to me and go, "Damn, that's smooth." Yeah, so smooth. That's that's Newport uh, Newport cigarette smooth. Oh <laughs> wow, <It's like> Marlboro <laughs> Man smooth. Yeah, smooth. <laughs> smooth. Uh, but the first beer I yeah. dug up is uh, a Chimay Grand Reserve. Uh, fermenté en barrique, so it's barrel aged, mm. and this is the 2018 08 edition. And uh, before we started recording, you said, "I think I've had this," and it's true. You mm-hmm. have had exactly this version. Well, because Chimay puts out this bottle in a lot of different forms, and they put the blue label, and the only thing that's different is the text underneath. Yes. So if you're not paying attention, you don't realize you're drinking a different beer, true, or drinking the same beer. True. So this is 10.5% ABV. Yep. And now yeah, it's from 2018. Yep. So it's got a few years on, uh, on it. So what was your favorite moment from 2018? From 2000, uh, 2018 was a bullshit year. Oh, was it? Yeah. I don't remember 2018. It was complete, I, I, it was I complete know, garbage. I, I know. I couldn't. Uh, I, I, need, I need one of those uh, uh, Google reminder mon- photo montages or reminder that I was doing in 2018. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, that's what I was doing then. 2019 was the best year. That was a better year. Yeah, right, what happened in 2019 to make it better? So much. So many oh, things. okay, great. <laughs> so many things. So, so the smell, oh. the smell, the aroma, it's just kind of Belgian yeasty, yeah, so, sweet. Yeah, it's a little marzipan Ooh. Do you think? I do agree. Like marzipan or some kind of chocolate. I, I won't go into our praline discussion because we, we've had it so many times. <laughs> Is it praline or pralines? Pralines. Pralines. No, it's not American pralines. It's uh, ch- like chocolate, chocolate covered uh, boo boos uh, content candies. Boo boos. Boo boos. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Boos. Chocolate covered boos filled. Oh, I said boo boos. Boo boos. All right. I was like, I don't know what you're doing over there. <laughs> this is already turning into one of our best episodes ever. Yeah. All right. We cheers. Have, cheers. <laughs> Wow, that's um, literally nothing. This is the antithesis of drinks. Sugar water. <laughs> it's very sweet. It's it's sweetish, but it has this like Belgian. I don't know sugar if this, water flavor. I don't, I don't know if this uh, is a Belgian double according to like style guidelines. It could be actually. Belgian doubles has this. Yeah, it's kind of sweet, little bit of malty, but very Belgian yeast type. There's... It's kind of boring, actually. Almost no flavor. Yeah. It's, despite the carbonation, which is oddly lively, it's extremely flat tasting in the mouth. Yeah. I feel uh, it's really thin. 
it's very, I would say one note, but that would be giving it credit. Um, I really find that this is just almost like a beer that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 10.5% ABV. I mean, yeah, it, it'll, it'll make you think it exists. It'll, and when you drink the whole thing, you're going to be like, wow, that was, I'm definitely feeling this, this beer. But at the same time, it'll be like, I feel like I just had a weird glass of water. Yeah. Like maybe I need to look at the uh, filtering my water better because there's some or someone put some some weird th- minerals or something in there. Yeah, or someone put something in your drink. Exactly. Uh, that's, but this that's is not a good flavor. This is a this beer doesn't exist. It is a non-existent <laughs> beer with yeah. non-existent flavors. So we haven't revealed to the listeners what we historically gave this. Oh yeah, so historically I gave it what a three seven five. Yeah. Yeah. And I gave it a four, but okay. it, it's not that today. It is definitely not that today. Um, this gets a, I'll give it a one and I feel like I'm being generous. A one? A one. That, that is, that is surprisingly low. Because it's not a beer. There's no flavor. There's no, there's nothing about this beer that makes it drinkable or rememberable or if you, it's just one of those things where like, I just want to get drunk. I can drink this. I can drink it fast. I'm going to like hit my uh, saturation point but it is it is not a it's not a beer well i'll give it a 275 I oh think. look at you being generous yeah, very generous but i i still get these like belgiany uh no. double uh, yeah. type of flavors you need to you need to stop the sauce have you gotten corona maybe you maybe need, that's what it is you it's need just to corona t- if you can't taste anything you need to tell me i'm a before we i've got a super corona I- issue here oh super corona yeah wow yeah it's like uh, Pokemon with diseases. You gotta catch you them gotta all. You gotta catch them all. Yes. Sy- syphilis, yes. Yes. check. Like, yeah, you got them all. Yes. Sure. Are we talking about my penis again? <laughs> I mean, I think sometimes I feel like this show is all about your penis and nothing else. It is. It actually, it's uh, what's on tap. It's my penis. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you can pull the handle all you want. <laughs> yeah, you, I just pull and pull, and nothing happens. <laughs> well, eventually something happens. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the next beer right. that I dug up is uh, from Cascade Brewing. Yes. We've had Cascade on the show before. Yes. They usually make sours that are mouth puckeringly, brain meltingly mm. sour. But this is from 2016. Mm. So, how will the age affect these beers? I don't think we've ever had an old Cascade. We've had new ones. Yes. But this is the Black Cap Raspberry Northwest Sour Ale, ale aged in oak barrels with raspberries. Yeah. And the ABV is 7.7, and it's a big bottle, so uh, we got a lot to ahead of us. <laughs> well, the Cascade only did 750 milliliter bottles when they released it right. in Europe for the longest time. Yeah, I think true. now you can get uh, 375 or maybe even cans. Can. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we've had a can. Yeah, yeah. but uh, for me, I remember getting the Cascade Blueberry for the first time, and like, oh my God, this just came out, and it was like 30... Danish a bottle or 300 Danish a bottle. 300 Danish. 300 Danish a bottle. 30 30 Danish. 30 30 would have been like a real. real, Buy all the. Because I was was mixing uh, Danish with American standards. So about $30 a bottle. And I was like, oh, this is so expensive. I really, you know, treating myself here. And my God, I was like, this is the dustiest freaking blueberry drink I've ever, or beer I've ever had in my life. And ever since then, Cascade for me is just like. Somehow, even their new stuff just tastes like it's been sitting on a shelf for 10 years and tastes super dusty. <laughs> so I'm, I've really fallen off the Cascade train. So I'm very curious how something well. that's been aged will, will affect this beer. So raspberries. Oh, it was super it, it, raspberry. Great carbonation. So it almost that, smells like grapes. Like, like it's a grape sour. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers. Let's try it. Cheers. Wow. That's very sour. That's a that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you always say? Astringent. Astringent. That is astringent. It, oh, it immediately makes me salivate. Like <laughs> yeah, it's so dry and so tart and sour and almost cranberry level like yeah uh, levels of sour past raspberry to cranberry to straight cranberry juice level of sour. Wow, it's it, it, this one is more like you say cranberry or currants, mm-hmm. red or black, whatever. Yeah, or it, it's it doesn't really taste like raspberries. I will say, it 
Oh my God, <laughs> it's so sour. <laughs> it's not dusty tasting, but it does take your breath away. Yeah. So, so um, <laughs> in English, if you are blowing raspberries, is that when you go? Yeah. yeah this, this is what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. <laughs> I think that's what the black cap raspberries mm. are. It's it's intense, um, but I mean, I, I'm I'm really glad we're sharing this bottle. Oh, I can't even imagine Tra trying to get past even half of this bottle by yourself, and you would get an ulcer, right? Uh, I, I, yeah, honestly, you're just going to get peptic ulcers from drinking <laughs> this. It's like just esophageal, like stomach. It's just going to be all there from ulcers. <laughs> it feels like uh, maybe a little. You're just drinking sulfuric acid. <laughs> So, so uh, what, what is it? Seven years hasn't mellowed it out any. Jesus, 20 years would not mellow this thing out probably very much. I mean, it, 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 honestly, I think, I think maybe you need a, like a 10 to 15 year shelf life on a Cascade beer before it mellows out enough to become kind of drinkable. Uh, I think this is better than what I've had fresh. I agree. It's much more drinkable than any Cascade I've, I've had in the past, pretty much. Um, which may be damning with faint praise. So I don't hate it. If you can get past the overwhelming dryness and tartness of the beer, I think the aftertaste is really, really lovely. It's got some nice floral raspberry notes there. It, it's really quite pleasant. It makes you want to drink more of it. But Christ, that next drink's gonna be like a Kick in the teeth. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'm going to give this a surprisingly probably how much we've trashed this beer. I'm going to give it a three seven five. I am at the same. Ex I'm at the exact almost same a rating. four because almost think, a four. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think if this ages out another probably five years. It's probably going to be pretty amazing. But I mean, to buy a beer and then have to age it for like fifteen years before it becomes something that you actually want to drink is insane. That is pretty insane. <laughs> and at this price point, you're better off buying two bottles of Lambic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any Lambic, you can buy any producer. <laughs> we, we've talked about Boone. We are Bo a huge Boone fan. You can so buy you a can, case of Boone could, almost you, for you this. Can, you can get three or more bottles of Boone for this price. Yeah. And they're better. Yeah, 100%. Uh, uh, <laughs> any, any day of the week. And in the cellar, this was one of four Cascade bottles Wolf. I found. I did find, it's funny that you say blueberry, I found a bottle of blueberry Cascade, oh. but I, I chose to bring this because it seemed like the most fun. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did. 375 isn't a bad rating. No, it's, 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 it's pretty it, good. It's I mean, surprisingly good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this definitely <laughs> needs another five to six years yeah. to, to be even more enjoyable, I think. Because uh, then, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't take that much to get it to like a 425, yeah, I, I think, uh, other than ludicrous amounts of time. So we'll see you in five years, <laughs> and then I'll bring out another Cascade bottle. Excellent. Excellent. Can you imagine us doing this five years still? We probably will. Uh, as far as I know, we're the longest running beer podcast in uh, Sweden, Scandinavia, Europe. Maybe not Europe, but definitely... Oh, beer podcast. Beer podcast. Beer podcast. Yeah, maybe, probably, maybe, probably. Maybe world. I wouldn't say world. I think there's, um, I think good beer hunting has been around longer than us. Uh, uh, good but beer uh, definitely one of the longest running yeah. beer podcasts in the world. Sweet. Next so we, we'll be doing this in five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's, we will be world famous by then. We can only hope. We can only hope. Maybe we'll do some sort of live events or La live print, aid. print t shirts or something. Yeah. Gather millions of dollars for uh, needing uh, children who have no beer. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll wrap it up there. You can find us online at what's on tap podcast.com, Facebook, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram. Instagram. And uh, basically, wherever you can find good quality podcasts. You can find us as well. Yeah. So until next time. Keep drinking it, dum-dums. Dumb